exciting. I always like seeing prime rifling to develop. It feels like this has been a good year for that. So maybe the next big name. Yeah. Maybe the next big name coming out. He's 23, so not quite the newest of prospects, but uh, not that much experience from what I can tell. So this could be an exciting moment. He's been around for a little bit. He's been in and out of various Ukrainian teams or teams from the region. And... I think for Blessed, we talk about this a lot with some of these, you know, lesser known teams to make into these qualifiers. Making it all the way to the LAN, of course, that would be unbelievable for some of these players. Um, more realistically, we're looking at series play against fully fledged professional teams, getting experience, and we know how many roster moves there are in this region. We know how many teams are making changes. If one of these guys can have a good qualifier, who's not to say they could end up elevated within their scene? And of course, Bondic, who I haven't seen play for literally three or four years, I think. There you go. The old vet bringing the experience into the young guns. It's a classic trope, a classic setup. Didn't get the Inferno in the last series, but uh, I will say Alex's teams back in the Spanish days used to play a lot of Inferno. Don't know how much time he will have had with this five. Seems like we're getting a horse pop. Good setup for Nip. They'd love them to come out of apartments right now, wouldn't they? They would indeed. That's what it's going to be. Really calling this. That's what it's going to be. What a read from Nip. Somebody watched a pistol demo. There's first contact confirmation that they've got what's coming here. All's pop. Two players in the mini pick. Good flashbang though. The second flashbang actually catches them off guard. One for one with the duelies. Advantage for the moment for NIP. And there's Rez. Rez being a monster from the site. This is what they need. And trying to cross a deal with a deep tip player. There's just nothing doing. Great round for Rez. Credit to Alex, I guess, for calling the setup. It was just impossible, wasn't it, for Blessed. Three on the site proper, a third, a uh, fourth, sorry, came through the moto smoke, and you can never get near the pit player. It's impossible to cross. So perfect. Perfect for Nip. Blessed don't plant. And now we can settle in. Let's talk about NIP broader context now going forward in this qualifier is is res the biggest question at the moment is i feel like okay rig was probably not going to maintain the same level of form, but we know his ceiling's pretty damn high from earlier yeah surely we need res and wrinkle to be the start i mean maxter and blue phoenix are looking like they're making cases for it In an ideal world, maybe you do have, uh, you know, th those two being the firepower pieces and you have Rez being more of a savvy veteran role where you can set up the younger guns to frag out. Gonna be the worst thing in the world. Nice spray down here. And it's all clean. Well dispatched of. Three kills coming through with the SMGs as well, so some money made. And Wrinkle's gonna pull out the op early on. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got. We like this. Yes, indeed. Where's he going? Number one. Just towards mid at the start. If we know there's no off on the T side, so he might just go for the peak. Yes, he does. Oh, and the leg. Warning shot fired. The first of many, I suspect, in this series. I want for the rest of this round. Took out his Achilles. Yowza. The ops rotated off though, so actually they're picking the right site. They're taking the right space. Uh, it doesn't quite do what it was supposed to do, but an answer, HE, does confirm. This is actually bad, because you just got the MP9 on Blue Phoenix. It's gonna be a tough spot. Maxter putting down Molotovs to try and save. Flashing for the peak. But it's Every short that they have to worry massive. about. Every second is so big for these rotates. Look at the info for Nip. They know it's not B. Four here now. Cavalry's arrived. They're still leaving the open banana, but there's plenty of bodies here now. 
Just missing Jackie. He is low, though, so the question's going to be, when does he choose to strike? They'd like him to get a little bit of space. 35 seconds, they gotta go. Going back to clear flank to set up some utility. Here they go, up short. Now there's the motion. MP9 strikes for the first. Trade is there. Nicely done. Flash things late, but it does eventually get a kill. And this is getting hot and heavy, stuck in the pit. Very tough to get a wall plant out of this. And Maxter locks it down. Nicely played around from Maxter. Doesn't get caught out towards long. Doesn't get caught on the first phase. Gets the utility. Stalls it out. Lets the rotate to come in. Mm -hmm. And then stays alive the whole damn time. I think his Molotov wins the round. I don't... I think without that Molotov on towards the arch. I think Bless would have just gone. Had all the U2 down. But bought just enough time. Uh, when NIP were in a precarious position, A was exposed, only two there. But good use on the util. Half by four blessed. No bomb plant. So, can't go all the way in. <laughs> okay, Wrinkle. Why not? So who was hitting hardest in the game of Legion series? Let's have a look. It's Smash. See if he can do that again. Mm. Not in this round. He's been smashed. Now. Well, they were going to have to pass, but the kill on the pit player is actually a huge bomb plant down. This is already a fairly successful round. Let's see if they can take it all the way through. Guthrie right now singing from the pit. This land is my land. It ain't your land. Nip need good util here. This is not a done deal. Far from it. Time getting short. Well, that's not a problem. Oh my goodness. All about the pit player. All about the pit player. Trying to go for the stink. Wrinkle needs the shot. And Guthrie's just not giving him the fight. He craves. Beautifully played from Guthrie. Folk legend himself. And Blaster on the board. That is bad news for NIP. Just a flurry of frags. As Bless rounded themselves onto the site, the third A player was all the way out towards library. He couldn't help his teammates. Hmm. I'd like to see that again because I, I, I'm a little bit confused as to how Bless uh, sailed the site without more losses. Either way, puts NIP on the brink here. No money in the can. No kits either. They've already used most of their util. As Rez has been dropped to second set. Look at this. A mid stack. A mid stack and Rez has been given extra nades. Mm. To prevent a B hit. We haven't had a B take for Bless yet, have we? So tendency definitely hedges towards this side of the map so far. But this time Smash is giving it a poke. Resmoke up just based on timing. Top banana taken. No resistance here. Rez is desperately trying to harass. Harry, stall. Force them back the other way. Might have just done it. Oh, tick on the porch player. Smoke has to be used. Jiggle on the peak. Wrinkle's in trouble now. The bodies are falling thick and fast. Master will get one back, but it just doesn't matter anymore. They've cleared off the site. They've got all this control. They got Rez isolated, and the round is over. Be careful what you wish for, NIP. They wanted a mid-take, and they got it. Didn't fall their way, though, did it? Ooh, had, they felt they had to take a risk. They didn't have the util to play the standard, kind of push it forward with Inferno, lose mid, take banana. They didn't have the util to play that sort of game. 
Res is not long for this world. Two rounds for Bless. Money economic pendulum is now firmly pointing towards them. NIP will surely have to almost full eco this. I'm feeling good about Blessed. I'm feeling it good. It does feel good. Full stack up this time. Eventually, we do have to see a B take. Just throw one in there, you know? Just for the c c c combo breaker. Right, we need somebody to come apartments. Somebody go near Maxter. They're holding an open house. You're familiar with those, aren't you? I haven't. I know what they are. I haven't been in one myself. No? They're not very common over here. Really? Yeah, yeah. super common thing here. I mean, it's common on new builds. That's a little bit different. Hmm. This is the dry run. Nobody here for NI. It's always good to get the drill in, though. Yeah. Emotions. And, uh, yeah, the aim of the game now for NIP is... I guess try and find one exit frag, if you can. Snake a kill bottom banana, see if he can't take the rifle out. It's not a ton of motivation to hunt for blessed. They're not craving money. I'm not a fan of how spread out they are. Oh, Master Cheeky Zeus. Baxter? No cheeky Zeus. One body lost. Not a problem. Should be happy with that. And this buy anyway for Nip isn't perfect, is it? Not gonna be an AWP out and wrinkle, which we know is a devastating weapon to be up against. Hmm. And actually, thinking about it as well, he does seem like one of those who really likes the AWP. He's been, he was fine on the rifle in the previous series, but nothing too interesting in most of those rounds. It was the AWP where he did his work. I think he's comfortable with a, a wide spectrum of aggression, uh, as well as being passive at times, which, which leans yourself to being able to AWP on more occasions. If you're more of a... You're more of a one-trick pony on the AWP. You're not going to bring it out as much. Especially on a map like Inferno. We see this half mm. develops, of course, on this occasion. Didn't have a choice. And again, no kits for that CT side, so... Can't be having a bomb plant. Retake equals save. Classic Inferno. Bunch of utility here. Alex eating a little extra molly damage to try and get that nade down range. Don't know if it was worth the price. Go so far as to say, I don't think it was. Was all this fighting for mid and banana worth it for Nip? I mean, we've got one smoke left on B. That's it. Rez is committing to an off angle. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Rez is... Rez has got to find frags. If he mm. goes one for one, this is not a good look. First collected, they have no idea, thankfully. Attention, guess the trade. And Blessed are okay for now. Shut down through the smoke. There's no flash behind it. Smash is kind of rocking out there. 30 seconds. They're starting to feel the time pressure, it seems. But uh, that has cost them quite a bit. Still two players here in defense. There's not another smoke. There's no more utility. So it's just going to be the guns from Wrinkle and Alex. There's a molly. Mm, didn't pick the right spot. 
So no new box Molly makes this tough. Trying to section this out though. Good kill. Not the follow up. Didn't expect the second player it seems. Wrinkle will be dug out, but that's the round. No time. Ran out of clock, ran out of chances, and so NIP hold on to the lead. Looked a little bit disjointed as Bless went through that smoke. There was a flash, but maybe it went too deep. I'm not sure. Um, but they went before the fourth player was with them. I feel like you've got to have two people going for that smoke on flashes to make it worth it. Okay. Onwards we ride. And I appear much better by this time. Still no warp on wrinkle. They're really favoring this deep mid smoke on the land. Uh, next to underpass. A lot of utility expended early by NIP. And what have we got here? Blessed. They're lining up a lot of nades. I think they're going out. They're going out mid. Straight into an A hit. Wrinkle. Oh, car repositioning. He lives. He lives. And then flying back in. Maxter. One but Oi, oi, oi. The trades don't favor them. Pit player has to do work. Blue Phoenix able to do the first. Keeps it even. At least. Res a little bit too late. To do much of anything here from the flank. Alex can catch himself a rifle upgrade, but it's a two on two in the post plant. Tension's got work to do here with the AWP. There's no molly for him. There's no smoke to cover him off. This is such a strong position as a result. Oh no. Bondic leaves himself exposed. Now tension's revealed it. If there is any doubt. Getting Rez out of this position is a little bit tough, but Alex keeping the pressure on him in one way or another, he's going down. This time there even was a kit, so a bit more time to work with. And NIP filled that score. I'm sat here wondering why Bondnik was first contact to a player coming out of apartment. Maybe a miscom? There's plenty of setups you can play, which wouldn't have allowed that sort of situation to happen. At least in a scenario where Bondic himself wasn't holding in that direction. Um, so maybe a little bit of a lapse there for Bless. NIP though will take it. They're in the lead here, but it's been their cleanest counter strike, and they'll know it. Hello. At the advantage, blessed. Low loss bonus. They've decided to force in regardless. Soul AK on Bondic. And have we got a similar round coming? Grouping up again in mid. Problem they've got is NIP are starting to lean four players over. It'll be a tougher task than last time. Bodies are here, ready to receive. Utility out, 55 seconds. Smoke's down, one player through. Smash claimed. Not had a lot of luck being the tip of the spear in this one. All oh, three players trying to overwhelm Maxter. He doesn't have support. He's on a bit of an island, but time is getting to be such an issue here. 40 seconds. But he's going to give a little bit of ground. Try and keep them on the end of this hook. There's still Util. They're running out of options. They're running out of bailouts. If the bomb drops here at Arch, it could be all over. Oh, there's the spot. There's confirmation. Players pass, though. Bondic stays alive. Most crucially, they still have to deal with two in the site. And Bondic going back. Finds Maxter. A blue phoenix still here. Holding on. Never revealing himself. It's Alex, actually. Sorry. And the round will be his. A little bit dicey, but they'll take it. Say, for NIP, it was kind of by the book. Take banana, lean 4A. And they always had the numbers advantage. Remember, guys, that was a force buy for Bless, so... Gonna have to swallow an eco, and this half is starting to slip away. They did. They played some really good gun rounds earlier, but... They just lost all their sting of late. Couple crucial retakes for NIP. 
broken their bike. Hmm. And they've got no nades here. Couple upgraded pistols, but this NIP team has some discipline. We saw that earlier. They just got better in that respect over the series versus Monty, so. I'm looking at Bless to generate a frag. Ring is going to walk in mid. Bit of a risk. Back to that in the open too. They do not get caught. Not much happened in this round. Looking like it's locked down. Bless, man, a few of these A takes. So far down to the wire, and then they stutter. Doesn't feel like we have too much depth to the playbook here on Inferno. I know there's only so many options you can do, right? But we've seen a lot, a lot of split A's. I think there's one B goal yeah. thrown in there. Haven't seen a split the thing, B. The thing we're not seeing is we're only seeing set rounds on A. We're not yeah. seeing take mid into taking, you know, towards the arch side into then having a clever mid round. It's more stand outside mid, call a set round, hope NIP aren't stacking. Mm. That's kind of the MO so far, isn't it? And we saw the apps drop rounds earlier too to add in to boot. So yeah, blessed really favoring the set round style. They play Inferno against Game Legion. I don't know. Did they? Oh, I am checking. Check faster. The answer is no. Game Legion permanent, so. Mm. Nope. Checks out. Tough to do in that case. Mm, we're going to see a chance for the wrinkle up to shine. They're going for the faster B play. And actually, they forced everybody out of the site. It was lighter hold here. Maybe NIP getting lulled into a false sense of security. Still needs to be planted, but there should be plenty of time for this this time around. And a full five-man retake. On deck. Ten alive in the post plant. What if the unicorn? The problem is there's still two smokes on this T side, and without a HE. I think they need to go through the CD smoke on a flash. This is going to be so difficult. They're going to reinforce Coffins instead. We have three players out here. Perez deleted the one, two, up, down, set up. Pretty strong, and indeed, it's a lockout round. Wrinkle just going to back away with the AWP. He was first contact. He'll be last out. And he'll be getting the lights here. Can't blame Nip. They have the money here to buy again, so. Why not try it? I think it was a, a worthwhile attempt, as difficult as it was. Blessed with those CT re-smokes just fuddled everybody through ruins for NIP. And a good cleanup. Critical round to just stabilize a little bit as this T-side. If they can make this five, then that isn't too bad. That is not too shabby. Maxter starts B, drops an extra set of util. He's off his work on his uh, on his horse back to A now. Ooh, there's a wrinkle shot. Kind of got disappointed last time. Thought we were gonna get more wrinkle shots. Want to yeah, back you now? by the silent boost either. Let's give Maxa some credit because, listen, Wrinkle was so good it's hard to go past him in that first series of the day. But Max has been, you know, a, a new player. This lineup, he's been great. Mm. Absolutely has. Promotion from the young ninja. Is it Max that have played some games in a previous event? You know, did he stand in once? Yeah, I think so. He's been around. He's been a hot prospect for a little bit. Blue Phoenix under pressure. Ooh, one for one might not be good enough there. What a shot from Guthrie. 
Bomb now down, Rez. What do you got for us? Smash is low. But it was Guthrie in the pit, and Guthrie who will seal the deal on the round. Five found for Blessed, and we'll be back. Two rounds separate these teams. Blessed, fighting their way back into it when it was looking eh, somewhat dire early. Now the roles are reversed. And NIP are on the attack. Tensions admiring the art in the apartments. We'll jump spotting. Gotta be done. You know what I just noticed the other day when I was watching the Major? Tell me. Uh, there's grappling hooks on the back of CT spawn on this map. As if they just climbed up the side of the mountain or oh, cliffside or whatever to get in. Yeah, I'd never noticed them. Watch so many games of Inferno. Just someone had the, the observer use like a floating camp path to show spawn before during freeze time, right? Yeah, yeah, and you just finally right noticed them. them. Neat little detail. It's I always like when the map tells the story of what the conflict is, you know? Okay, here we go. Let's tell the story of this conflict. Bondix found one. Checky another. And this is looking good on the whole. There's nothing doing for NIP. They got nada. Way to start the half if you're blessed. It's looking a little bit dire at the end of that T side, but... Made a couple rounds towards the end. Now CT pistol, no plant either for NIP. 
Jackie goes to town on them. And, yep, just a save for Nip, so... Very good opportunity here for Bless to, uh... Bank some cash, but as we always say... Every frag that Nip can find in this round, worth its weight in gold. Economic damage. So powerful. It'd be nice to see Smash get engaged, as we said earlier. He was he was the best player for West in their victory earlier today mm. over Gamer Legion. And um, you know, he's not a player I've watched. I don't think I've seen him at all before, but be nice to see him at his best. I want to see uh, who could be a new star of this region. He was going through smokes a lot, trying to be the tip of the spear, not necessarily having the success in the first half. Second might give him more chance to show up. Guthrie, oh man, looking like the man so far. Well, it's just a nice spray down of block players, but hey, keep it clean, why not? Now, Guthrie's piled up quite an impressive stat line at this point, 16 and nine. Not the player you would have had eyes on. It was Smash from the last series. It's been Jeki recently, but Guthrie. I'm making some of this. NIP put on notice, I think. They know this isn't going to be a walkover series now. What is the buy for Blessed? Orp out early for tension otherwise. Two pharmacies, two MP9s. Let's see if they get aggressive with these SMGs. Plays over here towards Banana. Free for the CT side. Will they commit all the way in for a take? Repeat bodies come in. So a lot of information now for NIP. They want to reroute towards a Rez is trapped. And he still gets the kill, honestly. That's pretty good going. To get a kill in that situation. Look at this rotation from Blessed. Are they... Oh, wow. They're no full way. stacking this. They're giving up B entirely? This is I don't know much. what they've seen. The fight was on Banana. All they did was kill Rezzed. And then saw a load of... Well, Am I missing something this. here? Am I missing something? I think someone's been watching VP demos. Maybe Calm that down. comes... Maybe a communication mistake, thinking that Rez was alone and someone on A is calling footsteps in a pot. I... Uh, Based Even on the information so we have, this doesn't make sense. Ah, I think they just called a full gamble. And the question is, are they really going to fight bottom banana and potentially give up the save guns in the gamble? I just don't see the logic. I mean, if it's 4v5, go for it. What is this stuff the facility really for? And then Jackie comes in and gives up a... Surely if you're doing a stat like that, the idea is we're going to save all the guns. I mean, they were clearly... Three of them were on the same page. Jackie, not so much. One or one more. Not gonna get it. Max is just trying to keep that AK from bouncing the wrong way. Hmm. That was a that was a weird round. That was a head scratcher from Blessed. Um, that was concerning. Very much so. So the only explanation I have is some sort of communication error. Yeah. It's just, it's just in a 4v4 that it was just too much. Just too much to ask. Fortunately for them, they had a bit of cash in the bank, so can drop some rifles round. But, um, yeah, if you want to take an NIP, you need to play a strong fundamental game. Very slow round this time. Bless not inclined to fight as hard for Banana. They're just playing passive on both sides. They're giving up mid two. So... It's the aim of the game for them is just to save Util. They've got two full sets here on B. And NIP need to speed up their, their default here. They need to get some nades out of the CT side. Can't be committing into this much Util. Mid is taken by Maxter. There's still no reaction. Look how disciplined Blessed are. There's so much util. I don't see how Nip are going to navigate this. Go for a smoke, maybe? I don't see how you're not peppered up by mollies as you're going into the site. He 
deleted. Pop, smash, deleted. Flashbang's lethal. Never had any vision. But now he's the only one who's actually in B proper, so... Some tag up damage, but no kills. Wonder how much they're gonna want to commit to this. Jakey might give it a look. Player boosted up orange. Oh my goodness, he could have denied the bomb. A TK! Blue Phoenix then dropped as well. Straight bullet off the AK. Takes out his captain, and this is a disaster. Jackie's had so much impact already. Looking for more as well, and they clean it up. What a round for the young gun. Bit of a mess, wasn't it, for Nip? Very hectic. Low HP players planting. Nobody in the top... The guy first oranges on top of first oranges is first contact the ruins. Hmm. And up he should be making that round. I mean they should be winning that round. Is that five on four after plant? Hmm. I'm not I'm the most impressed right now. So yes, left we played on Inferno. And I'd be across a new team in it. Needless to say, their series earlier wasn't flawless. Can't entirely blame them for that, given the situation, but... It's a sport, and you've got to win in the here and now. There is no waiting for the team to come together. The res here takes a lot of space. Very similar call from Bless. Again, look at this. Sitting back, save your nades. Let NIP make the first move. Oof. That they do this time. NIP's up to the task. And they know it's been light on this site. Smash giving them something to think about, but that's a really conservative smoke. Gives them room to rumble around the pillar, but it's not going to slow down the stake. Don't think that's where that molly was supposed to go. Ooh, ooh. Elbow? Elbow? Oh, ho, 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 ho. just enough pixels to be spotted. And this one's a disaster for Bless. They've got nothing. Guthrie trying, Guthrie failing. Rez picking up his comrades off and putting it to use. They somehow went up with the double up here. That wasn't intentional. Hmm. Maybe ditch it and buy a Mac 10. Nah, right, he's gonna keep it. Interesting. Oh. Let's see. Oh, tossing it around. Oh, bless you, got a force. I don't think Bless needed to force this. Well, they have. Wow. That is a bold statement. Very late by as well. They're a bit discombobulated at the moment. Trying to get them all on the same page. Hmm. Tension's got the AWP, huh? Where is he Three brought on the map. On a map like Inferno, too. It's wild. I think NIP... If they'd been up against an eco, I don't think it's as scary actually having two orbs and just sort of the rifles do the work. If you lose the rifle, you trade off the orb. They might have to execute a site here with two players that can't really run and gun. Look at how quickly this pulls. As soon as you have mid-presence. Bless her full Here we go five again. pulling. Very again. similar call. As soon as there's presence on A. Oh, I mean, this time there's more presence, so at least it's more justifiable. But yeah, NIP recognize this tendency. They're going to take it back B. Blue Phoenix might be the sacrificial flame here. But he even gets one for confirmation that this is a light sight. Go quick. Go quick. Get those smokes down. Double it up. That's still fine. Flashbang's over. Flashbangs galore. Bomb gonna be planted. This round's still on, though. And smash is certainly gonna make it so. That was just spam. Need to plant. Master is so low. Woo -hoo -hoo! Bit fortunate on that shot. But now Wrinkle's got work to do. Oh, he's connecting. Shot at the shot. The ops in the post plant. It's a whole different ball game. And so it's just Guthrie on the other side. Two ops to deal with. Maxter low, wrinkle repositioned, and it won't even matter. The ops clean it up. And of course, his wrinkle gets aggressive. 
understands the scenario and says, I need some frags before players are on the bomb. And that is a gut punch to the Bless. They were just about to win their force by. And be the ones in economic control. That script, it's, it's flipped. I'm not surprised to see a timeout from Nip. I think Alex and Exist can, can see this playing out. And this is getting a little bit too hairy. A little bit too hectic. And just a bit of a breather, I'm sure. Uh, a quick conversation about the communication. Let's stay calm. Where are they playing? What nades are we using? Who's covering what? And yet again, Wrinkle saves them. It's been a day of that. Mm. Master as well. Full credit on. But yeah, it yeah. was Wrinkle. Dude is nuts. That looked so scary when they went 2v4 and it was both the orbs left. Yeah. Oof. Tell you what, whoever it is who made the final call on signing Wrinkle, rubbing their hands together with glee so far watching him today. Had to shoot a combination of probably Fret, the main man. I'm not entirely sure what the management structure looks like, but. I think he has a lot of decision making. And I guess Alex, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Considered. It's kind of perilous, but okay, it's all good. Yeah, it's not gonna work out for you, Bondic. One player lost. We're getting very close to this yeah. being an NIP map. We said at the start of the series, the blessed making into this qualifier as, as a result every every map they take off a top team every series they play is good for them they played good counter-strike here they made a lot of these rounds compelling there are a couple after plant wins from being in the lead mm. um so that we shouldn't be disappointed that they're not in the lead here but uh i can tell you as competitors they'll be thinking back for some of the moments in this map already why didn't we convert? How did we not trade Wrinkle? Oh, oh. Tension's caught out in the open. This is bad news. These guys are stuck in apartments. Must win duel for Bondic. And he does. At least they have a chance. Not for long. Nice shot for Wrinkle. It's over now. I mean, it's going to be a save, right? It has to be a save. And I think, I mean, on the other side of things, if you're an IP... If you're an NIP fan in chat, you got to be feeling a lot more comfortable if they take Inferno, knowing mm. uh, some of the liabilities that we saw on Nuke. Giving you that buffer to work with. I think I'd be cautiously optimistic so far today if I was a NIP fan. I think Wrinkle has been... You know, I said it earlier, his ceiling is obvious. <laughs> so skilled, so aggressive, so dynamic. It's all good things in a young player. It's only going to get better in the fundamentals. Max has played a good map here. He had some good maps earlier. If my biggest question marks individually are Alex and Rez, that's almost a good thing because we know their tenure. We know their experience. We know both of them. I mean, Alex at times was the best player on Movie Star even when some players were playing. For yeah, I think especially with Alex, right? I personally try and give a lot of leeway to the individual form of an in-game leader who's installing yes. a system with a new team, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, you get a pass while you're trying to micromanage and make sure everyone's on the same page. You kind of just get a buy for, you know, the first three months of this roster's existence as long as the rest of the team's looking good. There's also a question of roles. I think as an in-game leader, you're often the person that takes, you know, some less desirable spots. If someone mm, has to yield slot. and change, it's probably going to be Alex. Yeah. Um, and of course, on Movistar, especially with the Sun Pius lineup, it was built around him. And Sun Pius, they obviously had all their spots. So another game factor. This is a good time to run an app pop. Two on location. One of those is an MP9. Two for tension. That is good. Uh -oh. Is the trade through? No. Too late. Cavalry's around. And way too many players now to deal with. That one felt disjointed from NIP. Three players staring in towards pit, right? As they come out of the apps. 
Gotta have your responsibilities divvied up for that kind of an app spot. It was a good read, but just the one player mini pit captivated their focus. Sight player tore right through them. Well done from tension. Gives them a chance to fight here for overtime. Three more needed. Oh, it's not going to get any easier. Back into the B pressure. I feel like that's been all tried and true. Ooh, oh boy, what a shot for Rez. Thought Smash might have him, but that's exactly the peak Rez was waiting for. Dinks traded, but the AK wins that exchange. Second time as well, Rez has been taken low and still finds a critical shot. NIP looks at reroute in towards brackets. Just a mid take for now. Tension. Wants to fight back, but he's taken off the angle. Mm, I think Bless needs to react to a piece on the sides here. Could be too much to ask. Take some control. Take a risk. You're doing it earlier with the A stacks. Don't let NIP just play their game. NIP's going back. You're going back. It's just to set up the smoke. We got Seems an arch like it is. is it All right. Lit smoke. Uh, oh, it's missed. It missed. It missed. It's I missed think smoke. it was meant to be the split smoke. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. Sometimes in a new team, you know, you're working with utility, you're maybe not as used to. Oh, no. Oh, that would have been a kill on Bondic one way or another. As it is, now pressure on. Nice timing from Alex. Now the bomb will go down. I mean, there's no time to spare, but Jackie, good luck with this one. Let's go on, boy. Let's see if he can pull back this 1v5. Up middle he goes. He can just hear the cacophony of smoke spam. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even do? <laughs> I mean, he's trying to figure that out right now, and he's not got a lot of time to do so. Clock's already halfway down. Better get a move on. Chickle around. There's contact. Now they know. He's out of time. He's out of chances. He hasn't given himself this possibility. Not that it was ever great to begin with, but... Oh, Max, just peek him. It's End not going to happen now. And Maxer will have the last laugh. NIP claim Inferno. Snatch their opponent's map pick. And they look good doing it. Especially towards the end. I think that last spree, the T side, looked really nice for Nip. CD side had had, had some interesting moments, but as we've said throughout, new lineup, play a sign today.